Hey, hey, developers, today I'm gonna show you how you can get a computer science degree for free online. And if you don't know, my name is Eric. I am a software developer with over 10 years of software development experience. I'm also the author of Vue.js in action. So this channel is all about software development, web development, different JavaScript frameworks, and advice for new developers. And before we get too far, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Coursera. Now, if you're not familiar with Coursera, they're an amazing teaching platform. They have dozens and dozens of very specialized, high quality courses. The one I want to recommend to you today is developing applications with Google Cloud Platform. It's basically four courses in one. If you look in the description below, I have a link to the course. You can actually try out for free for seven days. So make sure you do that. Make sure you click on that link so you can learn all about creating Google Cloud apps on the Google Cloud Platform. Check it out, thanks. Okay, so if you don't know, there's something called Massive Open Online Courses or MOOCs for short. So basically they're free online courses available for anyone to enroll. A lot of universities put up these courses for free for anyone to join and enroll. There's usually different enrollment times and sometimes thousands of students get involved with it. So uh, really there is a, a several different universities, US universities, I think universities all around the globe that participate in MOOCs. And then there's different sites that kind of partner up with these sites. So for example, Coursera, which is our sponsor for today, they actually have a bunch of partnerships. You can actually see them all if you go to their website. And make sure, by the way, if you're interested in these, these courses, use the link I have below, check them out. I offered a lot of these courses you can get for free and some of them you have to pay for the certificate. Some of them um, you have to pay for other things. We'll talk about that in the future. But you can see here Coursera partners up with the University of Melbourne, uh, you know, McGuire University, Match Teacher Residency. So tons of different universities all around the world and organizations like IBM, and they offer tons of really free, amazing content. So Coursera is one of them. edX is another one. They offer courses similar. Um, I found this really great website, which is called Class Central, which pretty much lists a ton of these courses and where to find them. So I'll put a link of all these places in the description below. So the cool thing about Class Central is you can go to go to classcentral.com. That's with a dash in the middle. You can go to subject and then go to computer science. And that'll load a directory of free online computer science courses that you should take. So there's over a thousand of them listed. Some of them are only open on certain dates. Actually, this is a perfect time if you're looking to jump into a computer science course because a lot of courses are opening um, in October. Some of them opened last month. Some of them are opening this month, like this one opens up on the 29th. So you can kind of, uh, you can sort by the course name, you can sort by the start date. You can actually follow them. And then that way, if new courses come available, you'll get an email. Sometimes I enroll in these courses, sometimes I finish them, sometimes I don't, but it's a really neat way of kind of keeping up with the industry. Now, these courses are usually taught at universities, so you're gonna get a university type education with it. That can be a positive thing and a negative thing. And let me explain that. So you might get a course that is taught over like 10 weeks, and each week will have like another three or four hour course, or three or four hour video. There actually might be homework due, there might actually be some online platform where you have to post things to. So it does it does take some dedication. In fact, if we look at one of them, like we could see here, um, I'm just gonna go back to like intro to computer science. This one's a self-paced one. But if you click on it, you see it's 12 weeks long. It's offered by Udacity and it's free online course. So it gives you an overview of it, but it's 12 weeks, weeks long. So you're definitely going to have be fed different content every week. Um, it's not going to be um, very simple for you. It's going to be these definitely a lot of these courses are, are higher level. So it's going to take a lot of efforts. So you might have to put in five to 10 hours a week. So just keep that in mind. Um, also, you know, I mentioned briefly earlier about the costs. A lot of these ones are free, um, but there's not but if you actually want to get a certificate, a lot of them you have to pay for. If you actually want someone to grade your homework, you might have to pay extra for that. So it's free as in you could probably enroll in the course and start getting the videos every week. But if you actually want to 
complete the course, you might actually have to pay money. And of course, if you're looking to build this, put this type of content, build this into your resume, you probably want to pay for the certificates. So that way you can list it on your resume and then put it in your portfolio. And, and if anybody ever asks you about it, you'll have it. Now, this isn't as, of course, if you go through and take a lot of these courses, this isn't as good as going to a four-year college where you're actually going to have a, a specific degree at the end of it. But I think if you're looking to learn the material, this is a great way to do it. And you can also just take one of these classes for fun throughout, you know, throughout the year just to see how you like it. Now, one thing you could do is there is a project called the Open Source Society University, and they actually have... I believe a, a few different curriculums here, but the one I'm, I'm interested in is computer science. So what they did is they took some of, you could take a look here of these, you know, thousands of courses and they picked what they consider some of the best computer science courses taught by some of the best universities. And they put it into a curriculum, an actual four year, I believe two to four year curriculum. So some of them are taught by Harvard, Princeton, MIT, etc. So they put, um, they tell you all about it. So they tell you when some of the courses are only open for enrollment at certain times. There is some academic requirements that you probably should have before you enroll in the computer science, this type of curriculum. And it tells you this is basically free. I mean, most of these courses are free, except you might have to, like I said before, pay for the certificate or pay for some to grade it. But it's kind of a neat, someone's created this whole curriculum, 100% free computer science curriculum that you could take. It's going to take dedication. So about two years, it says, to get to finish all these courses they recommend and that you should devote 18 to 22 hours a week to your studies. I don't know if you would have to really put that many hours in. I went through computer science at the University of Nevada, Reno, which actually was on at the university itself. And I didn't study 18 hours a week. But I mean, you're, it might vary. Nice thing too is if you do take Coursera, which but once again is a sponsor, make sure you click on that link below. They actually offer financial aid and you can, you can actually apply for it. So that way you don't have to pay anything. Once again, most of the courses are 100% free, but you have to pay for certain things with it. Um, it even gives you advice like to set up groups and cohorts, cohorts when you go through these different university classes. And they're all online, of course. You can see here, um, this gives you some prerequisites. You might want to make, if you already took some core CS classes in high school, that helps. AP Calculus definitely helps. There's actually Advanced CS, which is if you take all these courses, which they think it takes you about two years, you can go to these Advanced CS courses. So they, so like they, their first course they recommend is Introduction to Computer Science. And um, that, that one is taught by edX it's um, within with a combination of the MIT in Massachusetts Institute of Technology so it tells you like this Python's a great starting language to learn if you never learn programming at all and then it goes into what it recommends for core programming which is functional programming design testing um, like how do you code simple data software construction programming languages which is a really interesting you can learn Java and then it talks about core math classes that you probably should learn Core system classes, um, algorithms, which if you ever go into a job interview, you especially ones with some larger companies, you're definitely going to get algorithm problems. This might be a good course to take. Core applications, advanced computer science. So after you've completed every required course, students should choose a subset of courses from advanced CS based on interest. Not every course from subject needs to be taken. So then they give you uh, these advanced courses, like take a few of these classes and then take apply advanced math courses and then advanced systems classes, advanced theory applications. So it kind of goes on and on. And then it's final project. So the university is project-based. You're encouraged to do the assignments and exams of each course, but really what matters is whether you can use your knowledge to solve a real world problem. And so after you go through all the course CS and the parts of advanced CS relevant to, you should think about a problem that you can solve using the knowledge you've acquired. And then it tells you, um, you can see existing websites, code triage or first timers only. And then it talks about doing a capstone class with advanced applications. And then you can use this like markdown badge on your site. 
And you can look. You can even submit your project information to projects via pull request in your community channel announced to your fellow students. So there is a community channel. So after you finish this all, you can put up a project and people will evaluate it. So this is pretty interesting. They do a lot of things on there. They have, yeah, they have channels to communicate. Um, I would highly look into this. It's really interesting what you can do with this. And I noticed the two that. It's an, since it's an open source project, they have issues. People are debating which classes you should take. So, event, so occasionally they change up the classes, what they think is best in the curriculum. So this is pretty much 100% free computer science uh, computer science degree. You're not going to have, at the end of this, you'll have this OSS university degree, which, um, which is not going to be your same as your four-year university degree, but I think this is a great way to learn it. And then you can definitely take the knowledge and the certificates you have, put that on your resume. And I think definitely this would help you out, especially in your interviews. And it's a lot cheaper than many colleges out there. So I want to hear what you guys think. Do you think you would ever do this open source society university, or would you just, have you ever taken an MIT um, MOOC or online course for free from one of these universities? Did you guys like it? Not like it? Um, if you're planning to take one, I want to know too. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys think about uh, doing that, I really appreciate that and I like to see it. Thanks. Take care.